Real estate has long been considered something of a dirty profession in India, but it's a label that companies are um, trying to pretty successfully shake off over the past couple of years. Um, they've been building for IT companies for so long that they're actually starting to kind of look like them. Uh, one company in Bangalore, Shoba Developers, is currently building its own headquarters, uh, complete with things like a cafeteria, a gym, and a glass elevator uh, for its employees. The last time they tried to build their own headquarters in Bangalore, ICICI Bank picked it up as one of their buildings in the city. So um, it's definitely an aesthetic similarity, but it's also uh, more than just that. Um, companies like Sharpuji Palonji have uh, instituted one-year training programs for their fresh engineering recruits, and um, they're setting up development paths so that uh, engineers can advance to become project managers within four to five years. And companies across the board are investing pretty heavily in things like training, development, um, the latest cutting edge technology, um, retreats for their employees, <clears throat> um, and all these things to keep people invested in the company. And it's a phenomenon that's not affecting just engineers, but also construction workers. Uh, the demand for them is so great that companies have started offering um, construction workers meals, um, and then uh, schools and creches for their families and um, medical facilities um, all in a bid to get and keep the best people. So as developers like DLF and MRMGF move into the south and uh, southern developers try to move into the north and companies from Dubai offer a lack a month to fresh recruits, it's definitely a seller's market for civil engineering students in India.